Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back to Jamie Photography. So today I'm going to do one of my classic day to night edits uh, of this shot here. This was shot uh, back in May um, and uh, very fortunate that I got to attend a, a workshop with Serge Romanelli um, at Paris in spring and we took the time to go down to Mont Saint-Michel and uh, and we were extremely fortunate to actually stay in the hotel uh, overnight on the island uh, which gave us a free run uh, of the island when uh, when all the tourists uh, had left so we got to take some really amazing photographs and uh, particularly like this sort of medieval entrance to the to the main part of the village on the island a couple of the lights are on um, but uh, what we're going to do is we're going to turn it into a day to night using lights that are already on and also uh, bringing the other lights on to match the lights that we can see. So um, hopefully you enjoy this. So let, let's get started. So first thing I'm going to do here is uh, I'm just going to check that uh, the crop is uh is okay i don't i don't want this beam on the on the left hand side so i'm just coming inside of that and i really don't want to see the brick the brickwork here turning away the stonework so i'm just going to come in on that and uh, i've brought it down a little bit from the top and uh, i'm going to go with with that as uh as our crop as you can see uh, it was an eighth of a second f9 iso 100 and it was shot at 28 millimeters um, on my Sony a7R4 fabulous camera so um, so the next thing I'm going to do is look for the uh, the transform function and we're going to, to make sure that we get some of these verticals looking vertical so I'm going to click guided I prefer to go with guided I'm going to draw a line down on that window uh, on that door edge there I'm going to pick up on this wall here do the same here I'm just going to then it will just pull those two straight in fact I'm just going to bring that one out a little bit just so we've got a slight lean as we come in so happy with that so I click done so next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do my normal workflow which is to bring the brightness down so we're going to come down to minus 1.5 stops so darken it all down we're going to bring the yellows up a little bit as well as though there's some evening sun there a little bit of uh, magenta not too much and um, in fact I might even bring it down to uh, minus two stops make it look so we've, we've really got some darkness going on in there so first thing I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna brighten up these uh, these lights even these lamps even more so standard workflow go to masks radial gradient and I'm going to place a radial gradient over the light fitting as such not too big I'm just going to zoom in on that uh, on that lantern there go to 100% hold down the space bar to move to where I need to be so we're going to brighten that up so we can bring that up just a little bit as such a little bit of magenta in there and then I'm going to subtract a brush and the normal flow will be feather zero flow 100 and I'm just going to cut in around that that fitting using the click click shift click to get a straight line click shift click and uh, and then I'm just going to take a slightly smaller brush to go across the center here there we go So we've brightened up that lamp. Zoom back out. There we go. So that's 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 much brighter. I'm going to right click on that, duplicate that mask, take it to the next lamp, make it a little bit smaller. Zoom in again. And do the same thing again. So subtract to brush. And then I can just uh, Click, shift, click, shift, click, shift, click. There 
There we go. Let's make the brush a little bit smaller. Across the center there. There we go. Right click duplicate and copy that down onto the next one. Here we go. Then we can go to the brush, click, shift, click, click, shift, click to get those straight lines. There we go. And just come across there. Perfect. And the last one, duplicate the mask one more time. Brighten up that end one. Subtract the brush. So we're always working to to try to have a nice tight edge along that that lit zone, um, so that we can. I'm just going to make sure we've got nothing outstanding around there. That's it. So you get a nice tight edge on the on the lantern. So I'm going to come back out, and we can have a look at those now. Now we're going to they are going to be made a little bit brighter because we're going to put the backdrop lighting into these lamps now. So same thing again. Go back into mask, create a mask, radial gradient, and we're going to place it where the reflection would be. So I'm just going to turn that to match, and bring that back a little bit. And then we can bring that up so you can see how it's lighting up that area behind I'm just going to take a little bit of the the magenta out and that will uh, just balance those colors now of course when we drop this one in on top of the ones that we've already done it brightens the lamp up too much so what we need to do is just go back to the previous it's not that one it's that one is it that one yeah there we go I'm just gonna I'm gonna just take that brush and just tidy up around the edges of that one there there we go so whilst we're on this this mask we can bring down the brightness on the lamp you see you can you can change the lamp without changing the brightness on the area that you've illuminated so we're going to do the same again we're going to take a radial gradient, we're going to place it where the light would be, change the angle to match the lamp, and I'm just going to pop that in there. A little bit of colour this time. And then I'm going to go back to the first mask, this one. Just going to tidy that brush up around the outside. That's it. There we go. And look with it, and then I'm going to uh, bring the brightness down just so it matches. So we've got that area there. Now these two, I think we could probably do with a single radial gradient. We will pop that in the middle, turn that sideways on, and bring up the brightness. There we go. Actually, add a little bit of clarity to that one, I think. And then we will we will go back to the masks and just drop the brightness on those lamps. There we go. So these lights are going to light up on on the face of these uh, on the face of this building, but it's also going to light up the ground. Now the face we're going to we're going to look to light some of these windows up. So for now we're going to put some light on the ground. So we're going to create a new radial gradient, and we're going to place quite a large one. Now it's important that the center of the radial gradient is directly below the lamp that you're using, you're choosing to uh, to light. And I'm going to put it at a slight angle to match this angle coming across. So if I bring that up, add in some yellow. There we go. I'll come back a bit further, and we're just going to bring that out a little bit more. I'll put in some clarity there. Just bring that down a little bit of magenta, a little bit more of that yellow. 
just so it looks nice. So that that's that's pretty good actually. I'll right click on that and duplicate this this mask and then move it down to it's underneath this one. But of course it will be slightly smaller, not a lot, and it definitely won't be quite so long. And we just need to make sure we get the angles looking about the same. There we go. Right click on that one, duplicate again, and uh, same again. They make them a little bit darker as they drop away. So the light would would this one perhaps needs to be just a little bit brighter. There we go. And this one needs definitely be a little bit narrower. And that's coming out. So that that's a little bit darker still, just a little bit less. Because light decreases with distance, that's really important that you you sort of make the lamps darker as they get further away. And this end one is going to be narrow again. But can you see it's at the same level that that one was, but it looks brighter now, doesn't it? But that's because it shouldn't look brighter um, as it's further away. So it isn't any brighter, it's just that it looks brighter. So we'll dim that one down as well and bring this in as well. We'll bring that one out a little bit there we go bring that up just a, a little tiny bit still too bright so I'm just gonna bring that down a little bit more there we go so uh, I think this one needs to be just a little bit brighter yeah now we've got a bit of light on the wall from these radial gradients going past but that's okay because we would get light coming down from above so I'm happy to leave that there for now what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to have a look at these these windows to see if these can be successfully illuminated so I'm going to select a radial gradient I'm going to put it over the window never put the radial gradient center in the middle of the window particularly if it's off at an angle put it up so it's quite a big bring it up to maximum a little bit of color there and I'm going to zoom in on this one so I can go around the window and take this radial gradient away so inside that mask we are going to subtract a brush and that brush is going to have uh, zero feather and a hundred percent flow and we're going to click and shift click to get the straight line if you don't quite get it try again just to move it over slightly and then I'm just going to come in on there all the way down. So I use the space bar there to, to move that down. And I'm just going to bring that down. And we're just going to keep these, these flowers, plants in the shot. So I just free handed around there. And I've come up there. So I'm just going to drop back out to uh, uh, fit. And then we can just make the brush bigger. And we're just going to draw around that to take the rest of that radial gradient out. Remember, we're only taking it out where that where that window was. So if you hover over the mask, you can see where you've been. So we do need to make the brush bigger still and just take out the remainder. Hovering over, there we go. It's just the window. So um, that's looking that's looking like pretty tight there. Uh, I'm going to zoom back in on the window. And I'm just going to bring in a little bit of feather, about 15, 20%, something like that, and drop the flow back to sort of 70. And then I'm just going to make the brush smaller and cut across these window frames so that uh, the light isn't coming on, on the window frame. So I'm just bringing that across there and um, just drawing that frame out. That seems to work quite well. Now, what we're going to do is uh, going to go back to that mask. We're going to click on the, the radial gradient. We're going to right click and then duplicate the mask again to make it brighter. You can see there's a bit of noise in there because we are pushing the limits there. So I can go down to the noise slider and just bring a little bit of noise reduction in on that area there. Also, what you'll see is that the brush edges are now clear. So what we need to do is take a little bit more feather, a little bit less flow and we just need to come in and blend blend those edges together um, just blending those across there and 
just making sure there we go it's just blended so you've got a nice edge and this sharp edge here we can because we've got low flow now we can just go up and down a few times just to soften soften that edge there we go same at the top just going to go backwards and forwards a few times just to soften that edge now we would also have um a shadow from this frame and it looks like the wind the, the, the light's going to be up over here so we're going to go in there and we're going to just there we go just put in a shadow same for this one here it will be a bit steeper angle because it's coming up the lights further up so we're just going to go down here like this maybe actually control or command z just to undo that i'm just going to come in there again and just do a bit of steeper angle looks more uh, more realistic there we go so we've got that that in there so just going to zoom back and then we can find the right what the right light right light level for this uh some window so it's a bit bright at the moment so i'm just going to also just put one across here just to blend that line in there there we go so we're going to bring this one down remember this is the top one so uh can bring that down to that level there so you can see that the window is is illuminated and and uh you can see inside the room which i think is is, is quite good we're also going to light this uh this doorway here as well so we're going to create a radial gradient nice big one pop it on the doorway there up towards the top like i said not in the center bring that up full brightness so we can see it yep and uh i'm gonna pop that i think probably there open that up and then subtract brush Back to zero feather 100% flow zooming in on the area and then we're going to um, subtract a brush sorry I, I cancelled that my mistake we're just going to come in on the edge of that brickwork there Just going to go around the flowers like we did last time and then back up the frame across the top there so that's one window there and then this is the other one so we're just going to come in across the top of that one down the frame same thing again just round the Around the plants there and back up just taking the rest of that out so um, and then we're just going to take this doorway out as well there we go so there is a window in that door so we're going to cut in with a bit more feather and less flow and we're just going to go around that uh, that particular paint out the uh, and the same on this one just go across this uh, this window frame here as well just gonna get that edge just in here it just needs to be uh, just captured that bright edge there there we go so we can go around the outside i'm just going to zoom out and take away the rest of that particular radial gradient you can always hover over and see what you've done so that's just the windows and the flowers i'm going to right click on it and duplicate the mask like we did last time back it off a little bit bring in some some color back off a little bit more 
add some clarity in there and then we're just going to do the, the final blending on these edges remember if we go back to the brush we can bring the feather up we can bring the flow down we can take a smallish brush and we can click shift click a few times just to build up a softening of the edge that we just just makes it look a little bit more realistic softening those edges up That's it, same along the top there, just going to soften that edge. I'm going to put a bigger one just to soften that a little bit more there. And um, by using a lower flow with lots of, with, with a little bit more feather, you, you, you are able to go backwards and forwards gradually. Try not to do it all in one go. I think that's that's really important you end up with uh, quite a sharp edge otherwise and um, I'm just going to pop one in on that window frame there as well and like before we can put a shadow across there and the same here we can put a shadow across there as well there we go just going to soften that in there as well look It's all about trying to make things look natural and, and try to make the wood work quite well there that you can see so I'm just going to drop, drop back to this one and I'm just going to soften that top line there a little bit more there we go okay we're going to zoom back out let's have a look yeah that looks quite realistic Happy with that. Let's just light these other lamps that we've got over here. So we're going to go back into mask radial gradient. I'm going to take a radial gradient to put over the lamp. Center on the lamp. There we go. Bring up the brightness. Zoom in on the lamp 100%. So that's uh, subtract brush. And uh, we're going to go to feather zero flow 100%. We're going to come in there with the brush. Click, shift, click. Click, shift, click. Just working our way around the lantern as normal, just to make sure that we're only lighting the lantern up. Make the brush bigger, paint round, just to remove the remainder. Hover over there, you can see there's just a little bit more there. Hover again, there we go, just got the lamp this time. So I'm gonna right click, duplicate, okay. For this one, the trick is we've got to make it smaller to make it look like the lamp that's inside there. I'm just going to go back to the previous one and just add a little bit more, more color. What I would like to do is match it with the, the ones opposite. So, um, so let's just have a look at that. It needs to be just a little bit brighter. So I can go back into the mask. There we go. And I can just... Uh, just bring up the highlights a little bit more and bring up the whites a little bit more there we go that's brighter and just back off the magenta a little bit so the colors are very similar yep that works very very well we need some light on the wall now so again we're going to create a, a mask radial gradient we're going to take quite a large um, radial gradient there and I'm just going to bring up the brightness so we can see where it is so it's more, more it's more bright down that end because that's where the daylight was whereas this was under the arch was was quite dark so what we're going to have to do is just take the angle there bring up the brightness bring up the color to match there we go and we're just going to make that a little bit bigger and this bit we're going to need to reduce so to do that we're going to uh, subtract a brush we're going to have the, the feather very low. It's going to be literally like 10%. And the flow is going to be around about 50 because we want to take out half. And I'm going to go to the top, line up, click, and then shift click a straight line down. There we go, same again. 
just gradually taking that away it's still a bit bright so I'm just gonna bring a smaller one in just to just to uh, bring that brightness down so you can see that that wall steps away so it would be slightly slightly dimmer it's still a bit bright over there I'm just gonna take that bit out as well there we go So that's the light coming up onto the wall. A little bit bright there. Just going to back that off a little bit. There we go. And then I'm going to create another linear gradient to put on the ground underneath this, this light here. It's going to be about there. And I'll boost that brightness. There we go. And that one will be a little bit brighter because it's a bigger lantern. So uh, you just get that sort of bright effect there. I don't want this bit on the wall, so as always, subtract a brush. Uh, feather I'm going to leave at, uh, at sort of 10%, flow it 100%, and just take that little bit out of there. Um, and uh, I think there's one more lantern just a bit further down. So we're going to uh, zoom in. There it is. We're going to create a radial gradient for that one as well. We are going to boost the exposure up. We're going to subtract a brush with zero feather, 100% flow. I'm going to come in a little bit closer. There we go. And I'm just going to do the standard removing the radial gradient around the lamp. Click, shift, click to get that straight line. There we go. Bigger brush just to take the rest of it away because we're at 100% flow. That takes it all away. I'm just going to add a little bit of noise reduction um, because it's a little bit noisy there, a bit further away. Okay, and we're going to uh, take a little bit of magenta out, add a little bit of yellow, not too much. Then we're going to duplicate the mask. There we go. And we're going to put the lamp inside as we always do so let's zoom back and see how that does bit bright so back into the masks go back into the mask that that controls that and just bring that down just a little bit in fact i'm also going to bring the lamp down a little bit and it's very bright inside there we go just uh trying to find that balance so it looks natural create another radial gradient to put on the ground underneath the lamp and then bring that up until that looks natural right color add in some color there that looks that doesn't look too bad at all it's a little bit bright let's back it off a little bit there we go so i think we have got close to uh, a nice day tonight there um, I might just add in to this bottom corner another radial gradient as though there was another light just out of shot here um, bringing some light in as such as though we're under a lantern here and that sort of lights that wall up as well gives us a little bit of detail there to, to look at and I might even bring this one down a bit further I might also, just on this one, try to bring a bit of a shadow in. That light wouldn't go all the way up there. So I'll go back to the brush, the subtraction brush. I'm going to bring up quite a lot of feather, bring the flow down. And then I'm just going to pick an area where we're just going to take that a little bit darker up there. And just take that little bit away. There we go. Yeah, that looks, that looks more natural. Um, wondering whether to do something down the end here maybe uh, take a radial gradient down here pop it in and just just darken it down slightly a little bit more color yeah that looks pretty good and then just to finish things off uh, I think what we're going to do is in the basic function so we're not in any of the masks anymore we're going to just going to have a look at using the highlight and shadow um, sliders 
just tr to find and balance and also do the whites as well um, they're very bright there so don't want to burn those out there we go bring those down blacks we can open the blacks just a little bit a uh, little bit of clarity in the scene always helps when you've got lights um, bring the brightness down a little bit more highlights up just to find that sort of balance point so they look they look natural um, I think that the overall image needs to be just a little bit brighter a little, little bit less contrast and just a little bit brighter just trying to find that balance point between brightness and highlights yeah happy with that there we go uh, so uh, a day to night Mont Saint Michel um, turning on the extra lanterns and uh, making it look a little bit more nighttime so uh, let's just see where we were so we'll go back to history and uh, go back to the beginning so that's what we started off with yeah and uh, this is where we uh, we ended up hope you enjoyed the video bit of fun I enjoy uh, a bit of day tonight so um, if you like the video please click like and uh, would love you to subscribe to my channel and if you do have any comments or questions please feel free to put them below and uh, I always look at the comments that you put in so for now that's another that's another one done and uh, I wish you well. See you soon. Goodbye.